give me the money. Don't say nothing. Don't start a fight. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Walk away. Don't say nothing. You begin to listen to your heart and realize sometimes God speaks to you when you do something. You can ignore it or go with it. is the ability to judge correctly and to follow the best course of action based on knowledge and understanding. Judge correctly. It takes a lot of wisdom to judge things. To judge the best course of action. What should I do with my life? What should I do? Should I marry this person? Not marry this person. Should I take this job? Not take this job. Should I go away to another state? That'd be the best situation for me. Or should I stay here? Right. You, you, you got to make some serious decisions. Yeah. If you don't have all the information before you start, and then sometimes God has to speak to your heart before you do it. Mm -hmm. So if we don't make the best, situ best correct judgment, which it takes time, it takes time. And a lot of you, majority of most of my issue, most people's issue is. They didn't judge the situation correctly. Mm -hmm. They got half information, made a decision based on emotion. Fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fear is a big one. I better take it. Fear is a tremendous motivator. Basic decision out of fear. Or you're fearful and you know you got to do something, but you choose not to look at it and allow it to kill you. Here's, here's the principle. I looked into the um, Bible dictionary. This is the this is the biblical principle of wisdom from the Old Testament. From the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, it says, this is this tradition of Jewish wisdom. First principle of biblical wisdom that a man should be humble himself before God. The Jewish, the Jewish tradition. Jewish wisdom says the secret, one of the key secrets of wisdom is you have to humble yourself before God. When man's pride prevents him from humbling himself, he thinks he knows more than God. <laughs> and reverence worship and obey his commands. The first thing is, is you got to get off your own throne. Mm -hmm. Jewish wisdom says, humble yourself, reverence God, worship God, and obey his commands. Because in Jewish wisdom, in Jewish wisdom, they realize that pride will blind you to the truth. Pride will get in the way and not allow you to see the truth. You will see what you want to see, but you will not see the truth because of your own pride. And God says, humble yourself. God resists the proud, gives grace to the humble. There's times in your life when you gotta come to the place where you gotta say, get on the knee and say, God, I need help. To the time in your life, you gotta put the pride to the side, get on your knees. Say, God, I need you. I can't make the connection. I need help. I need now. Help. Yes. Lord, I need help. Yes. I need the wisdom to get through this minefield. I'm going through a minefield right now, and I need to get me through this thing, Lord. Humility says, I surrender. I can't do this. Give me the supernatural wisdom to do this thing. Do this. Because I truly don't know what to do. I'm in, I'm in fear. A reactive circumstance, but I need your help. And the first rule of the Bible says, even in Proverbs, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Because if you don't fear the Lord, that's when the first principle God brought me to when I came to the Lord in my 20s. I actually fool myself to the point where because of my physical strength, my college education, my my Success I was having, I thought I needed nobody but me. I had money, good health, nice car, living place I always wanted to live. When you sing with that money and you're healthy, yeah. you think you're invincible. <laughs> that means you can spend three hundred dollars just on a pair of shoes. Don't think about it. <laughs> so you're single, you do stuff like that. Three hundred dollars on a pair of shoes yeah. because you got it off that. You got all this money. <laughs> And it's still the hardest thing because you want it. Not because you need it, it's because you want it. And you basically, 
Think you know more than your mother and father. Everybody else, they gotta be famous or have a PhD behind their name for you to think they're smart enough to talk to you. And you're young and thinking that you know everything because you're on a computer and you're on a computer. And you got education. So you think you know everything. I don't know anything. 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 I don